Hey guys, today I'm going to be unboxing a Nintendo Switch car holder that doubles up as a table stand. The back of the box here shows it being used for both of these purposes, so let me unbox it and see if it's any good. So it comes with two pieces that make up the holder, and a user guide too. Standard stuff. Let's put it together. So each piece is labelled R or L for right and left, obviously, but it's kind of clear which way they're supposed to fit anyway because of the hooks at the top. Let's get the Joy-Cons off the switch and onto the holder. Well, the holder pieces actually slide onto the sides of the switch, in a similar way that the Joy-Cons do. Releasing them is similar, they've got a little button at the back which you press in and then slide out, like so. Nice and easy. In terms of fit, it's a pretty perfect fit. There's no way either side is going to just fall off, no matter how much I shake or move it. So that is obviously a very good thing, and I'll test it out in the car too, once secured. Each holder piece can be rotated to make a stand if you didn't want to use the Switch's own kickstand, which can feel quite cheap and flimsy at times, but it does the job. This car holder one though is definitely a lot stronger. Okay, so time to get it in my car. You just place each side of the holder so that it hugs the headrest post, and that's it. Looks good, and now the backseat passenger can get to playing. Is it sturdy though? Yeah, it is. I can shake it about and move it fairly harshly and it won't fall off, so the switch is safe. Generally, as the car moves, it doesn't really bounce much unless you hit a nasty pothole, so the player can play at peace. And they can tilt it as well to an angle that they find most comfortable. Not bad at all for $7.99. If you fancy getting one yourself, then the link to it is in the description below. I bought it off Amazon. And as always, thanks for watching.